something that I struggled with as a parent to a high school homeschooler, and I know comes up a lot, is how do you do labs for sciences? Because if you're like me, when you think of a lab, you think of, probably, or at least we did, we had a separate lab in our high school, different equipment, we had all of that stuff. And how do you get a lab credit at home that's well done, but without buying thousands of dollars of lab equipment. <laughs> so today I want to share with you a resource that we have chosen to use for high school labs. When my daughter was in 10th grade, we were doing biology, and I knew the textbook that I wanted to use, but I didn't know how we were going to accomplish the lab part. So I looked at a lot of different ideas, different packages and kits and whatever, and I was afraid to take that on. One, life was kind of crazy then, and I, I, I was concerned that I wouldn't fit it in well. I was concerned that I wouldn't make sure it got done. And I was really concerned that I wouldn't grade it to where it needs to be. For whatever reason, science lab, and it may just be a middle block, that seemed like, like something that I couldn't do, which is crazy because it's the only time really that I felt that way. But it is what it is. So I started looking around on different online options and trying to figure out just what to do. And then I came across Well Trained Mind Academy, which I knew about, but I didn't know that they have the option to only do a lab class. And this is only for the high school level. They don't offer it for the younger levels. In for middle school, they have a science, they have science classes that include the labs. At the high school level, they also have that if you want to do it as like a two semester thing, but I only wanted that one, I only wanted the lab part. I have looked at a lot of different online class options and Well Trained Mind Academy is the only place that I found, could be wrong, if you know of other places, please let me know down in the comments, but it's the only place I found that offers the option to enroll in just a lab high school class, high school science class. Now, there are a couple different options with this. One, they have the live classes, so your student will meet at the same time. The class is live, homework, you know, is due every whatever, every Friday, classes on Monday, whatever the, you know, whatever the details. Or the option that we've chosen, which is the delayed option. Now, this is not a self-paced option. So if you want something that's self-paced, this is not it. The videos come out at the same time every week. But she takes the live class video from one of the other sections and presents it live or and gives it, takes the live video and gives it as a recorded one for the, for the delayed section. The homework has a set time when it's due each week. So it's not self-paced. You need to watch the video at the appropriate time. You need to do the activity and the homework at the appropriate time. But when you do that in each week is up to you. And that worked really well for my daughter that year because of her schedule in 10th grade and wife's schedule. It worked out well that she could do the video whenever fit best for her. And the time that usually fit best, there wasn't live option anyway. So it was a really, she really enjoyed that option. So that was 10th grade biology. This year she is doing physics as a senior and we decided to do the same thing. She was originally going to take it at the um, community college, but there were some issues with getting signed up for it. And so we just decided to do it at home. For the text, she is using, I forget the name of it, but it's from Conceptual Academy. Hewitt something or other. But we wanted to do a lab through Well Trained Mind Academy again. Now each semester lab do have different focuses. In biology, the fall one was focused on like plans and then her semester focused on genetics. So if you're interested, do look at that and see which semester might interest your child more. The classes are not inexpensive. If you need a low price option, this is not going to be the best one for you. 
there are definitely ways to to do lab science at a much more low cost. Since we don't really have other classes that we're paying for this year, since she's taking classes through um, the community college, we decided to spend the money on this one. They do have um, payment plans though, so the price that you see is not the price you have to pay up front. You can certainly spread it out over the semester. And at the beginning of the year, you get the supply list. They break it down by week and what you need, as, along with alternatives. So there were a couple labs that we did with biology that was like, you either need this or this, or here's one activity. If you can't get these supplies, nothing was really that obscure, but some of them were a little more difficult. I should, I should say, they weren't things that I could just go get from like Walmart or the grocery store. <laughs> so not difficult to obtain, but you gotta put a little effort. So, but there are, anyway, back, there are a few that were like, if you can't get the supplies for this one, here's an alternative activity that you can do. This is an aside because I know it doesn't apply to very many people, but if you have a student who is looking to play college level sports, they are an NCAA approved course provider. So that's, and there's not a lot of places that are. So this would definitely be, whether you're looking at it for lab or for other courses, it may be a great spot to take a look at to um, get one less thing that you have to deal with the approval process. It looks like what I've read, it <laughs> seems kind of intense to um, have to plan for that. So. If that's your situation, check out Well Trained Mind, well -trained Mind Academy. And that, our friends, is how we are accomplishing high school labs. Want to check out my other high school videos? Go check out the playlists over on the screen, and I will see you in the next video.